So you've created an assignment in Canvas and you would like to add a rubric to this assignment. So your setting is set in this case to one point. Um, again, remember points do not count for anything in your elementary Canvas grade book. It's just there to show a one that it's done and a zero that it's not done. There will be no percentages configured into a total grade. So to add a rubric, simply add a rubric here. Now it's important that you title your rubric with something that you'll be able to find it again. It is advised that you use the title of the activity. Or if it's going to be a rubric used over and over again, specifically identify the rubric so that you can find it again. In this case, you can see that I can, I have default information here and I can edit any of the information in this rubric as well as add more lines of proficiency. Again, reminder that this rubric will not be scoring anything in a Canvas gradebook or, or Mastery gradebook. In this case, I'm gonna go and find a rubric that I've already made. So I'm gonna find a rubric. I'm in my Pathways course. Here's the assignment rubric I'm looking for. I'm going to use this rubric. You can see that the criteria has been put in here. I set it to one point or zero points, depending on if it's done. If I edit this rubric, I would like to set it to use this rubric for assignment grading. Now I know that's deceiving. You will not be assigning points to anything, but what that does is allows me to click this rubric in the speed grader and it will send a complete score or an incomplete score to the grade book that the students will see. So I'm gonna update this rubric. And now this rubric is attached to this assignment. When students submit, you will go into speed grader and you will be able to grade here um, you can grade manually if you'd like, but since you built a rubric that has criteria for grading, and in this case, I don't have much criteria, but you can put anything you want in here. Now all I need to do is click the rubric and it will automatically fill in. And when I save, you can see that the score will now be sent to the gradebook complete. I can also leave comments down here. I can attach a file or I can leave an audio or video file for, uh, feedback for the student. When I'm done with this, the student in the regular gradebook will see a score of complete and this one just shows that it's complete. There's no total score given or a final score given in this gradebook the way this is set up. Another way that teachers may like to use rubrics in Canvas beyond just complete and incomplete would be to include standards that are going to be assessed and proficiency criteria for those standards. This kind of rubric is attached the same way as before. Come down to the bottom. Once your assignment is complete, you're going to add a rubric. I can edit this rubric if I would like, and I would give it a specific name so that I can find it again. But in this case, I'm going to find a rubric I already created. This rubric has two standards attached to it. One of them, I do not have any criteria except for proficiency levels. The other standard, I have specific criteria for each proficiency level. Now, I do not like the points added to this because I don't want kids and parents thinking about points because I don't have a points gradebook. So what I'm going to do is edit this rubric and down below there is a checkbox to remove points from the rubric. Now all I have are proficiency levels that are communicated to students and parents about the standards that are included in the rubric. I'm going to update the rubric and I'm going to go to SpeedGrader to show how this looks. So in SpeedGrader, the left side window will show the student submission. On the right side, I have my tools for uh, proficiency levels and assessment. I can show that this assignment is complete and then I'm going to view the rubric. In order to do that on this rubric, I'm going to expand my window. So I can go through the student's work and click on the proficiency level for each standard. And the students will then see the feedback given to them for the standards that are attached to this assignment. Now that I save this, the feedback given for the standards attached to this assignment are shown to the students as well as parents who are observers in the course. If you have any questions about attaching rubrics to your Canvas assignments, please contact your technology integration coach or your curriculum coach. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.